Hello everybody, happy Monday, and welcome to another stream. With me, Dan, Daniel, whichever you want to call Thank me, you. it's fine, it me, it always be me. I can't change that unfortunately, but yeah, it be me. And yeah, I felt like we were going to do some Dishonored, because I love this game, it's amazing. Um... Yeah, it it just looks great, it sounds great, I love the atmosphere of it. We're probably going to be looking at some, maybe some level design stuff as well while we go through it, see what the uh, guys might have done uh, with the game. But uh, yeah, I've got Kali with me. Hi Kali. Hi. How are you today? I'm good, I'm good. I feel relaxed, I got my nose. <laughs> good, good, good. Yeah, I've got, um, I've got a Bepis. So that's alright, but I won't be drinking it that much because I don't want to be guessing everywhere because that's not nice. So, yeah. Going to play some Dishonored. Looking forward to this. Probably going to do hard difficulty. Um, give myself a bit of a challenge. Um, and yeah, let's crack straight on with things. I'm not going to do the intro because eh, we, we've all we've all seen the intro. I want to get straight on to yeah. the, the gameplay stuff. So, let's... Yeah, I have. I Sorry? even played this game. Mm. And I don't play a whole lot of games like this and I've played it. Mm. Yeah, I've yeah, third player. I've sunk about hundred and seventy hours into this game. Um Oh my god. Yeah, that's a lot. Um I've played through once and I've watched someone play through once. That's hmm. about it. <coughs> yeah, it's an amazing game. Um if the audio levels are... I've adjusted the audio levels a little bit, so hopefully you guys should be able to hear me and the game pretty well at the same time. If you can't, please let me know and I'll, I'll tinker with some stuff. Yeah, here we go. So yeah, we wake up in here. Well, obviously we know what we've been accused of. If you haven't played this game before, Wait, I'll give... Do yeah? you want to do dice rolls for this too? <laughs> oh, really? Ooh. Just kidding. I mean, Ooh. we could... It's not like as big as in other things, but <laughs> there's you no know, leveling mm. up. Yeah, that's true. Um, I don't know. We could leave it to chat. Do I have a penis? Uh, yes. Wolfenbox says it. It doesn't seem like a good idea. But <laughs> wait, how about when it's time for leveling, you consult the chat and yeah, see okay. how they want you to play. Okay. <coughs> Govo, who we are is irrelevant right now. Blah, blah, blah. Here's the cell. Good luck. Get out, a friend. So, um, yeah, I will be F5-ing constantly, just in case I, I don't want to end up dying too much, because that's not very good for progress. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you guys haven't played this game before, I'll give you a little rundown of the story. So, you are the protector of somebody. They got killed. You got framed. You've been thrown in jail. And you now have to get out and restore your honor or your name. <gasps> Dark Blue's right. Go full on evil rat powers. Evil rat powers. Oh my goodness. You guys I want love rodents, so I vote yes. Wow. We'll see. I'm gonna start. I'm probably gonna start this off as a stealthy playthrough. Um, just to. Uh, I love. I love the stealth in this. So. Yeah, I've so got. Sorry? When I first when I first started um, working for Night Dive, mm. John was streaming this. <laughs> oh, was he? And so, yeah, <coughs> I just forgot about it. Mm. That's where we kept doing, like, joking about making the donk um, emote. In oh. oh, wasn't that Thief actually? Wait, it is from Thief, but he was playing Dishonored when I first joined. Oh, right, okay. Because the donk joke went into to Dishonored because it works for that, too. Mm. Oh, yeah, John did go full rat. Dark Blue's right. Yeah, John went full rat. Um, so, yeah, you you kind of come out into this space, very open. You've got a good size area. You can obviously run around and stuff in here, get used to the controls, but you sort of step out and you're like, ooh, tall, sort of foreboding. You can look over here to see where you will be going. So uh, you, it's kind of you get a taste of what is to come. 
and they don't really have to do anything else with the uh, level design. They don't have to expand it out into areas that won't get played in. So, yeah, that's a nifty use of of the space. Fun fact, they will never ever see you do that. I really like the art direction of this game. It's really silly, but cool. Yeah, like um, the people look really goofy, but I like that. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, the guards, they don't see you very well past this for kind of obvious reasons, really. It's, you don't have much of a space to run around in outside this area, so if they would see you that easily, it really wouldn't be much fun. But uh, Yeah. Um, oh yeah, I forgot my sword, didn't I? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for him to go here. Gotcha. Dump him in a cell. You go there. So, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys all had a good, ooh, good weekend. Um, I did. I went to Doncaster, picked up a whole lot of cool retro games and stuff, so that was fun. What'd you pick up? Ooh, I'll show you in a sec when I get rid of this guy. Also, there Sir Kane's asking if you're going for 100%. 100%. Uh, completion? Maybe? Mm, probably play this game to the end. Probably not gonna knock out all the guards, but. Uh, <coughs> so, yeah, what did I get? Um, managed to pick up a copy of... Uh, where is it now? Uh, what's here a second ago? It has gone walkabout. Uh, never mind, but I managed to get a hold of... Oh, there it is. Uh, Shinobi 3 on the uh, Mega Drive. Been after that for a while, but it's kind of expensive, so... Managed to get a hold of a copy of that. And I got a copy of this really obscure game for the Mega CD that's actually really good. It's called um, Keo Flying Squadron. Um, oh. it, yeah, it's this kind of um, horizontal shooter. It's got some anime in it, um, but the gameplay is really, you know. It's, it's one of the better games on the Mega CD. It's just really expensive. Um, I see. Sorry? I said, I see, I see. Ah. So, yeah. Get to see the areas around. They've got a lot of windows so you can see the areas that you will be going into. There's nobody in those areas yet. Uh, they spawn in um, kind of outside. <coughs> sort of out of the area. Dark Blue wants to know if you're going to play Expo in Manchester in May. Um, maybe? Manchester's not too far from me. I could go. Um, so, could do. If you're going, we could say hi and stuff, and it'd be right. I'm going to take a picture of the moment you and Steve meet, so I can post it. Oh. Aw. 
That'll be a nice moment because we've. God, I've, I've worked for him for about. five years now. Um, and we've never met. So, that will be a moment. I keep doing that. Um, I do not know where there's a fair amount of money hidden in this. But, uh, just wait and see on what this guy does. Attention. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted. Uh, yeah, I, I only found out that there was a little dragon inside the game after I bought it. Cause it actually says on the back of the box. I'm like, oh, okay. Where'd that guy go? There he is. That's him dealt with. Yeah, um... There are a few Mega CD games that I'm wanting to get my hands on. Some of them are way too expensive, though. Which one? Um, God, there are some rare ones. I'd love to get a hold of... There was a Batman and Robin game um, for the Mega CD. Uh, not the common one. There are two. There's a really sort of common one, and then there's one that's just absurdly expensive. Cost something like. If you want to buy it new, there's a, there's a brand new and sealed copy on eBay, uh, and I imagine it will stay there for some time. But they're asking for five thousand pounds for it. Um, yeah, that's that's silly, silly talk. Uh, so, yeah, not doing that. <coughs> but um, I do have. Some of the more popular ones. I've got Sonic CD. I've got Snatcher, um, which is a game everybody's usually after. Mm -hmm. um, if you know what Snatcher is, you know everything kind of about it. Um, but uh, yeah, Kiel Flying Squadron is one of those uh, that I've been wanting to get for a while. I managed to do so. There are a lot of good games. I had to stop myself from um, really going kind of nuts and um, spending a stupid amount of money because I did have in the back of my mind Dan, this is all well and good but you do have a house to pay for Yeah, you do Yeah So, yeah, I stopped myself from going a little bit too crazy and I could have done, believe you me but they were selling a whole lot of things there they were selling modded game cubes with HDMI support um, region free consoles um, don't tell Nintendo um, yeah, just a whole load of stuff. So we've got the bomb that we need now to get out. Attention. The solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by an officer of the wall. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. This is uh, one of the challenging areas of this um, map. I'm trying to get these two guys. You don't have any superpowers yet. Another night, another patrol with you. Um, you get them in a little bit. Get a copy of that Atari ET game. Yeah. Um, there weren't any there, but they go for stupid amounts of money, don't they? Attention. For some reason. Just because it's a bad game that's infamous. Inf infamous. 
um, they want to try and charge a stupid amount of money for it. Nope, that would have been a bad time. So yeah, very tall buildings again. Um, where'd that guy go? He might see me. Mm, could just leave, actually. Oh, I might be seen. Oh, he didn't see me. This very this area is very easy to get out of. Cause you kinda stop and look around and you do notice those pipes in red over there. Um kinda very obvious that you can just climb up these and get out that way. I forgot there were two guys here. Sorry, I will try to keep an eye on the chat as much as I can. Because I need to avoid being killed. I'm your backup chat watch. Yeah, that might not be good. Yeah, there we go. Easy enough. It's very kind of standard, you know. Every, everyone's got patrol routes. Sometimes they deviate from the patrol routes, which makes it more interesting. Um, but not, but not all of them do. So, yeah, we are free to put the bomb down and get out. That switch will open that door, so we don't want to do that. And run! And that's that. Made it out. Easy enough.
looking at this hour. I saw him fight three to one in the practice So, yeah, this area obviously introduces you to the rats. Um, they can't get you, but you get a very good view in a moment of what they do, so you know not to kind of get caught by them. Kavo, if you're reading this, yeah, a friend will meet you outside. Yep, yeah, it's about now. We get a good view of what they can do. I always thought them being able to do what they do is just so creepy. Just watching that, just they can strip them down to the bone. Yeah, that's now that, at the time that was insanely cool. Still is. And here's where you actually have to deal with some. You cannot kill the rat plague. You can kill rats individually, but... Um, leave them to snack. Kovo makes looking... Kovo makes getting out of water look so easy. For some reason also in this game, weepers, they just give me the chills. I don't know why. I do not confront them at all. I deal with them from a distance. I don't know why they're just so creepy. I'm really hoping that they do make a Dishonored 3 at some point. Um, because that would be just awesome. Your first night dive stream. Yeah, hey Alessa. Um, just playing some Dishonored for a while. Uh, game game dev stream next week. Just playing through some Dishonored for a while. Um, just looking at the level design. Just making some notes and some interesting things about what you can see, what you might not necessarily think of. Um. Like here, so yeah, there's a fair amount of light, so you can see what's going on. So yeah, now you actually have to deal with some of these rats. They're not, as long as you kind of stay out of the line of sight, they won't bother you that much. Um, the game will, con I think it continually kind of throws down corpses for the rats to eat, so you're not kind of stuck. But you do have to throw the corpses, obviously, where the rats can see them. And this gives you more than enough time. Um, Alyssa, game devs asking if you're um, a level designer, but you can answer this. But you're like a multi-hatted type. Oh goodness me! Um, yeah. So <clears throat> for night dive, generally I do um, producery type work. I organize the teams because um, we have two teams. I'm mainly looking after um, kind of both at once. Uh, but on System Shock, I, I do. I built all of the BSP, block out all the levels. Um, 
So I am helping with that. I also am doing some design work. I'm also doing a little bit of producing. I'm, I do all sorts of stuff. Um, which is why for five years I haven't had a concrete job title. <laughs> yeah, I'm just the guy who does a whole load of things. Your title is Daniel. My title, yeah. <laughs> it is. What does did, what did Dan do? He's just Dan. He does what he does. Ooh, rascal. I love it. Dark Blue's like, Daniel and Carly are night dive studios, but there's this bloke called <laughs> Stephen hangs about, but dot dot dot. <laughs> and Larry. Yeah, they hang around. Are they even real? Mm. You've never met them, so you don't know. Yeah, that's true. How do I know I'm not real, though? You've never met me. How do you know if I'm real? Uh, oh my god. I've been talking to my imagination this whole time. So, yeah, we get first idea of a trap here, kind of tells you that this world isn't that friendly. If you haven't kind of picked up on that from all the rats and the dead bodies already, we've got a tripwire saying that, you know, someone could be around here, someone doesn't want you obviously touching things. So we have to either try and get past it without setting it off, or we set it off. Let's see if we can avoid it. But how can we avoid it? Quite easily. Oops. Okay. Like the the game will reward you for just kind of looking around, you know, exploring the environment, just take just stopping and taking a good look at everything. Okay, here's another one. I forgot you could disarm them and get bolts. I'm going to do that with that one, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Greetings, Lord Protector. Here's some weapons. Good luck. And we're going to want these. You, ha you have no choice to pick these up because the key also comes with it. Um, so w when developers want you to find something, they will usually um, either have them all together like they did there, so you have no choice but to pick them up, or they might be. Um, something in front of the item that you want to pick up so they usually put um, if they want you to read a note they'll put maybe a key on the note so you have to kind of do both let's see open this that's the key to get out as well so you have no choice the game does instruct you to do a running slide here so here we go there we go Look for whiskey. We don't need the code because if you if you know who, where this kind of lineage of game comes from, you should know by now that the code is four five one. Start meeting some people now. Get past base. You know who we're hunting here? We'll try to 
take him out alone. But what if no one from the squad is around? Then try to make a lot of noise when you die. Knock something over if you can. Bastard. Ah, it was too slow. Stay alert, you worm. He's not getting out this way on my watch. You can quite easily get out of here. It's all about timing though, <clears throat> if you want to get rid of all these guys without killing them. Still crying about that dice game? Shut up. I do want to get over there though. They're not coming this way, not yet at least. So I'll see if I can take this guy out. <coughs> when he comes back this way. Got some goodies over there that I want. Come on. Oh, shoot. Yeah, run away. Woo! Don't think they can chase me back here. Why am I stuck? I'll wait for him to calm down. <laughs> Can I still see me? No. No, let's go this way for a bit. Oh my goodness, are you going to calm down? Yeah, this area, I love this area because it looks very, very Half-Life 2 Ravenholm-esque. Um, they are not going to calm down, are they? Ah, uh, fine, whatever. <coughs> Samuel, and I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. Well, they said you'd come out here. I can still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. All right, let's go. <coughs> Yay, didn't kill anyone. Overall low. Hey Tricky26 and Zorch. Hope you guys had a good weekend. This is the Hound Pits pub. Closed for business. Half the district marked off as dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose and you don't know a thing. Of course, if anyone finds
finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Take you up to meet Admiral. Yeah. Yeah, Zorch, I, I, I do like it a lot. <coughs> it's probably the art style that helps. Um, it just feels like a very kind of lived-in, solid world. You know, everything's got a name. Um, people are constantly referring to places that you will eventually go to, which always helps. Um, I mean, there was there was a conversation. Are you going down to the flooded district? Well, no, I don't want to get the plague. So you think, oh, there's a flooded district. I wonder where that is. And then you do eventually find it later. But uh, yeah, it's um, it's really good. I will try and skip dialogue where I can because you guys have all seen this before. Yeah, yeah, have a drink. The arrows as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the tools. I'll be crafting the weapons and gear. This guy, <coughs> you want to um, you want to keep happy this guy because he'll be giving you upgrades and things. He doesn't mind if you steal stuff from him though. Oh yeah, another m another thing the game introduces you now to is these whale tankers that are explosive things that you can do things with. Just bombs, really. Perfect. Now plug it in. Perfect. Thank you. Gives me a mask. Yeah, let's have a look. So I can buy stuff. Hmm. <clears throat> let's see. Go with that. Oh, are we going to do buying of things for co um, the dice rolls or what? The what? The dice roll for the upgrades. Oh, no. We are going to ask chat. Oh, okay. I'm going to make my own purchases, though. But, uh... Oops, I just spent too much money. <laughs> oh, well. <coughs> um... Yeah, should I buy the... Oh. oh. I can't skip this one. Uh, I'm going to look around first. I say I'm going to look around, but I'm really going to steal some stuff. Hmm. story does something cool. You, you constantly hear that guy talking over the uh, communication system about what uh, what's going on. Um, you uh, can do something interesting later with that. If you haven't played the game, I'm not going to say what, but something interesting happens later with that. Oh, where's he gone? Yeah, let's have a look. So, I've got accuracy or range, which should I get? I'll let the chat decide. Alright, chat, what will it be? Yeah, accuracy or range. I can only buy one at the moment. I say range. 
Mm. I mean, to be fair, the crossbow's fairly accurate, but... Uh, range, 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 range. Yep. Accuracy, range. Um, not at the moment. Um, that'll be later. Okay, range it is. Cool. Oh yeah, you've got stuff in here, I forgot. Oh, not this time. Okay, off to our next adventure. At least I think it's this way. What do I do now? I forgot. Objectives. Oh yeah, go to bed. Go to sleep before we can go. Oh yeah, gotta get my superpowers. Yes, that's right. Don't know how I forgot that. This get some Zeds. Oops. And it's we're we're totally not gonna get transported to any kind of mystical dream world or anything. Oh wait a wait a minute. Yeah we are. Always a cool place, this. Hello, Corvo. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. I will, but I want magic powers. I can't save her, I can't save her, I can't save her. I'm very sad. Another good piece of foreboding is this. You see these guys and wow, what are they doing? Yeah, Callie might be doing other things. Got me a heart. Fun little fact. Oh yeah, I had to take off my headset, that's why I sound different. <laughs> Fun little facts, if you guys didn't know it, the voice of the heart is um, Terry Brocious. Same voice of Shodan. This place is the end of all things. And the beginning. All of time's meanings here. Neither seconds, nor centuries. Someday this 
place will allow the golden lights in the sky. The one who all sings all things, pray the songs of the unbreaking bones and all thy teeth. Excuse me. And there we go. We're going to be needing these. And now we can upgrade. We can upgrade nothing. Oh well, actually, now we can get dark vision. So, I'll ask now. Should I get dark vision? Are you planning to do the knife of Dunwall as well? Um, maybe. Maybe. Knife of Dunwall was a, lo a lot of fun. This whole game is just a lot of fun. I could play this forever. Didn't you mention getting creeped out by the heartbeat noises? I personally do. No, don't get the dark vision, it's lame. Yeah, it's totally not useful at all. Background static? Um, don't know. I can't hear anything. Uh, if you guys can, sorry. Um, might be my PC. I'm not going to upgrade anything now. What I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. Yeah, yeah, got magic. Do that. Uh, I can't remember if all the stuff that's in the room when you wake up is um, pre-order stuff or what, but uh, yeah, I do. I do have a fair few things here to pick up. Um, upgrading the user, yeah, upgrade me. Flooded district for treatment, yeah. By treatment, I don't think they uh, quite mean what they think. Take all the stuff and you don't care. I think the first mission is um, actually going to. Uh, I think it's the High Overseer. I can't remember now, I'm drawing a blank. Oh, I forgot there was a key there. You dislike it? Because it allows you to avoid paying attention to the environment. Yeah, it can. Yeah, I suppose that's that's true. Well, let's get down to it. I know where I'm going. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of 
us. And if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist. And he's a okay. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Hmm. That's one thing I could leave up to the chat to decide. Do I let him die? Or do I save him? You could be really mean. You could be really nice. Oh, I forgot. I almost forgot. Let's do the whole findy rooney thing. A uh, quick swim. Don't want to get nibbled on. Yeah, I'm stuck. There we go. Ouch, ouch. Come on, get out of the water. Oh, come on, this isn't Underworld Descendant. I want out of the water. I'm stuck. Uh, well, oh, there we go. <laughs> that is true. I am per I am permitted to eat fish fingers. They're not permitted to eat my fingers. Let's see. Was there anything else? Nope. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps saying Pierre over. Yeah, okay, fine, I'll go get the thing. What can I do for you? Upgrade new equipment. Oh yeah, so I have oh I've got a fair bit of money actually. So hmm. Gotten into the stream, then I had to go AFK. I had this on the play stream. So, should I get. Combat sleep dart would be useful. Um, I want to be as least violent as possible, but. Uh, there's a lot of choices here, so. Uh, I can narrow it down. I could get. Um, Hmm, let's see. Alright, I'll give you a choice of three. I could either get crossbow accuracy, combat sleep dart, or bolt capacity one. Jack can decide. You got a minute. <coughs> yeah, um, I'm skipping the um Skip him some of the story because it's it's long and you guys have seen the story before. If you haven't, I highly recommend. I highly recommend everybody play this game. Um, buy it, play it, and let them know you want Dishonored Three. Combat Sleep Dart, Combat Sleepies, Combat Sleep Dart. Okay. Chat seems to have spoken. Combat Sleep Dart. Okay. Do 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 do. -do. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. 
top up on sleep bolts. Um, all right, another choice. Uh, crossbow accurate. Sorry, no crossbow reload. Mask optics one. Or bone charm capacity. Those are the three choices. You highly recommend I just play the game. <laughs> well, in the last stream, so if you went in for the last stream, we did a System Shock 2 playthrough and we let chat decide what I bought in terms of upgrades. Um, which was interesting. I still managed to beat the game, but uh, yeah. Chat and dice rolls. Yeah, we had dice rolls as well, sorry, I should say that. And uh, yeah, Carly was the main um, administrator of that one. Charm, charm. You wouldn't mind if I made my own choices? Yeah, I could do. We'll see. Yeah, I'll go with charm capacity. Okay, leave it there. Right. Off we go. Ready to go? Just give the signal. All right, let's go. Be a rough trip. Used to be to go straight up Claverton Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead for play. Fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets and they set up those wall and light checkpoints. And walks through one of those and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. There are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. <laughs> Just take your pick. Decide to go up Clavern. Don't let the guard spot you. I'll try not to. Venom code name outbreak. Never heard of that. I forget if that's a guard. That's probably a guard. No, that's not a guard. Attention, Dunwall citizens. This is a special announcement. From our honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. It is with regret that I announce Oops. <laughs> that was the wrong button. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. I pressed the wrong button. Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisy. That didn't happen. <laughs> they did. <laughs> they did escalate quickly. It's because I have I have the buttons on my mouse, and sometimes I just have a brain fart and end up pressing the wrong button. That was funny.
I want to talk to her. <coughs> and she just disappeared. Afraid not. <coughs> eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdie. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. What a bother. Use the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Granny, 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 come out the green stairs. Granny, Granny. in our time. How much could she have? She digs in trash for a little bit. Let's get it. I'm dry as an overseer's bread. She's been digging for 80 years. Must have found something. Hear that, Granny? Whatever you've got, slack jaw gets a cut. Nothing personal. Just bottle treat. Yeah, I missed. There we go. Technically dealt with. So now we get a free doodad. Which I want. I want them. I think you'll cut a nice figure with this. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning the flowers away. I can't bear these bottle street children. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard, or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. Right. I can quickly run down here and swipe another uh, rune. She doesn't like you coming down here. You can quickly steal something. Be careful. You're on your way to face the house. Skip that. Yeah, she also sets you up to do another task. She wants you to poison the um, water supply. I think it's the water supply. Um, do do do.
Yeah, lots of things we can do around here. Definitely want to leave, deal with those two. Hey, I'm back. Hello. I was doing laundry and then all of a sudden the doorbell rang and I was really confused, but it was a package. But it was a package for my nail care, which I wasn't expecting for like another week. Oh, all right. Oh, that's always nice so when that happens. I know, I was like, what? Why? But it's good because my nails, um, I've done them a few times, which the way I've done them is very damaging for your nails, even though it's really pretty. But then I hmm. smashed my nail in a door. Oops. So I had to take them off sooner. <laughs> so my nails were falling off because they got crunched. And then I got this nail polish that's supposed to protect your nails while they regrow and gives them vitamins. Mm -hmm. so yeah, hopefully that helps protect my nails. Because they hurt. And I missed. That's not good. What have I missed? Oh, um, I ran from some guards. I accidentally hit someone and then killed them back since I had to reload. Oh, damn. It's all good fun. And here I thought you were trying to be non-lethal. Yeah, it happens when you press the wrong button by accident. I have my headset back on so I won't sound weird to people. I just had, um, I took the headset off so while I did things, I could still like hear and then respond if needed. But then I was like, oh, that sounds bad. Let me just put the headset back on. <laughs> He's basically a shop. I wonder what things he has for sale. Want to look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear. Ooh, I'm gonna buy. Yeah, I'll buy both of those. Alright, cool. Yeah, this level is the first real taste of. Um, Freedom, the ability just to explore everywhere. Oh yeah, I do know there's something over there. I forgot about that. Oh, I can actually get them on, on my way back. There's a bone charm over there. Oh yeah, the bone charm over here. I forgot about that. Just pick that up real quick. I also feel that this game has a very kind of Silent Hill 2-like atmosphere. Um, in some places. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna hurt. I 
I forgot how you get to that. Uh, never mind, I might come back to it later. No, you didn't hear anything. Go away. Lots of cool stuff to take in here. I was reading the chat that sometimes there's like freezing in the video feed. Oh, is there? I'm wondering why that is. Yeah. I I forgot if it was just Sir Kane who said it, but I'm noticing it too. It's kind of, um, it's chugging along. <laughs> oh, do I need to lower the quality or something? You might need to. Well, we can sort that out for next time. Um, Cymec9 also says, um, some minor freezing from time to time. So yeah, next- Um... <laughs> Dark Blue's saying, Twitch can't handle this awesome. I'm surprised <laughs> I can do Alien, to be honest. Yeah, this machine can do Dishonored and Dishonored 2 fairly well. Though I do remember when <coughs> Dishonored 2 was released at the time, it was a real resource hog. Um, I can't stand on that light, can I? Nope. You're unclean. Dark Blue, <laughs> I understand why you would want to stop watching. I was really stressed out, too. <laughs> I wouldn't watch me. I was looking that Alien Isolation came out four years ago, but, like, it feels like it came out this year. 
you know? Yeah. I don't know if that made sense. I want that key. you dealt with. Now I have to find where you went, because I lost sight of you. you dealt with. Now there's a number on that board upstairs, I think it was 287. One of these bookcases isn't real. I'm not sure if it's this one, it might be the one upstairs actually. Oh no, there isn't another room up there, isn't there? Yeah, sorry guys if it's hitching. Um, I'll sort that out for the next stream. Yeah, this stream is so close to done, and I'm not sure this might be one of the games that needs to restart when you change it. Uh, it might be. goodies over there. Oh yeah, I remember I turned the crosshair off to give myself a bit more of a challenge. Woo! Let's see where that other guy is though.
Don't think he. Oh! Ooh, that was close. Shut myself out. Hmm. Where did he go? Oh yeah, there's another two, isn't there? Don't want to open that. <coughs> can't forget if they come through. Th can't remember if they come through this way or not. That other guy go I'm nervous now. You should be. Is there? Okay. Now I see him. Just keep tabs on where he's going. This hour is this area is mine. Take all the stuff. Mm, Cumberland sausage. Um, trying to think what else we need to do. There was one room that was locked. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was upstairs. Yeah, there we go. Um Yep. Let's 
Just quickly check my log first before we leave. Objectives. Oh yeah, that's what Granny Rags wants me to do. Contaminate the Bottle Street Gang's bootleg elixir with plague. That'll kill everybody off, so... Don't particularly want to do that. I um, love that Granny. Mmm. Take the blackmail journey from High Overseer Campbell. Get past the second wall of light. Yeah. yeah I think we have everything in here. Take the bread. There is a building across the road, but I don't think we can get in there just yet. Mm mm, sweet plague, yum. Crumbs, crumbs, crumbs. <laughs> Hmm, yeah, a lot of guys I need to avoid this way. If you go that way... don't think I can get to. That area is usually not boarded off. Um, I don't want to go this way though. Actually I do want to go around. I want to deal with you. I can't remember if that supports my weight or not. A lot of guards. There is a safer way to get through these streets, but uh, you don't patrol any further, so.
I forget if he's a friend or not, so... Let's go find out. Ask him friend or foe. He's got his back turned. Oh, he's having a piss, so I can deal with him either way. Wow. That settles that. Crap. I can't hit the target. There we go. There's where I want to be going. There are some things I want to get first. I don't know if I can drop down there without him seeing me though. Or I can do that. I want that rune, thank you very much. go. Easy peasy. <laughs> what a sight you are, my lass. I know who you are and what you're here to do. And I can help. I like this. Daniel making I'm murder look easy since 2018. <laughs> By the void, I'll buy you a hundred drinks. A hundred drinks? Feels good to stand up straight. Thank you, 
more of them. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily. So kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal. His notorious black book. And get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Herner. And word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits pub. If I see Samuel the Boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard, behind the office of the High Overseer. May all the spirits guide you, and may our enemy's head hit the floor without you taking a scratch. Same to you. Quickly hide this guy. Should do about there. Yeah, that didn't go well. The coolest thing is you can literally just go on this ledge up here and you can run all the way around, which is what I think I'll do. Because there are a lot of enemies down there. You have not got a prowler on the loose. Oh, he goes a bit funny. He sometimes just knows. Put you out there, back on the ledge where you got stuck. Yeah, this area is important. We're going to want to remember where that is. I did teleport to that ledge earlier and it just um, didn't put me on it. Huh. But, uh, there we go. Three guys in here. It was Martin's plot to break him out of Cold Ridge Prison. That's clear enough. But why Corvo? The one man feared throughout the Empire. 
He's as skilled as they say. He got through there with half the watch looking for him. He had help, yes, but how far does it go? The trail goes to Martin, but Martin knows everybody. Everywhere. Nice and gently does it. So he's gone that way. Can't remember how long for though. Does he come back? Yeah, he does. I love just watching this game. I'm just <laughs> looking at all the environment and stuff. Yeah. Surprise. anyone outside? Don't want to go into that room just yet, because that will set the story going. I have to remember all my old hotkeys and things. It's been so long since I've played this. Um. I feel like I haven't played it since it came out. Which was like, what? <laughs> Seven years ago, maybe? I don't remember. Yeah, that might have not been the best move. Okay. That window Almost was seven years ago. It was like six years ago, mate. Yeah. I feel old now. I was trying to remember. I'm like, when did this come out? Because I remember when I played it. Come here, you. God, it was like 20... 12, I think? Yeah, I just verified it was October 2012. Mm. Goodness. Don't want to jump down there. 
I have not played the DLC. Simex asking. Oh boy, don't see me. Oh shoot. Well, that wasn't good. Let's set the inter that's going to set the alarm off. Ow, what hit me? Oh. Yay, I blew it. Woo! Yeah, combat sleep dart is the best. Might as well loot all those guys now. The stealth sometimes frustrates me because it's not very easy to get out of situations where you've been kind of caught. Um, Got to be very precise, and it just wasn't that precise. Oh well. Well, might as well start the story going. Helpful. Now... What do I do? I'm, I'm tempted to let the chat make this decision. Um, switch the poison to Campbell's side. Combine the two glasses. Spill the glasses. I'm not going to walk away. But... Uh, mm. Do I dare? Do I dare? Combine. Uh, I'll let the chat decide. Combine. I'm going to let the chat decide. Oh, come on. Come on, chat. Oh, don't make me do that. Oh man, more people are on my side for combine. I do want to spill. 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 Oh, come on guys. Don't make me kill them both. Hmm. I love the inconceivable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, combine. Combine. Oh, you guys are mean. Roll says combine. You guys are very mean. Okay. Fine. Understand how this got so unpleasant. 
Oh, I agree, I agree. A whore dies and suddenly leaves. Will you have wine? It's a chimney and red. Thank you. Now, business. What would you say happened last night? To be honest, I'm not even sure. My men, your overseers, a few whores, maybe a little too much ale. One harmless prank with a runaway chicken, and ten minutes later, Trevor's alley is a sea of blood and teeth. You guys are mean. I almost wish I nah. You guys are very mean. <laughs> Tibian, you say. Sometimes it just be like that. Now I know you'll agree that we can't <laughs> allow word of overseer behaving this way to reach the heart. You can't seriously expect me to. This wine's rather strong. Is it? You're not a lightweight, are you? I can't feel my hands. Really? Can you feel yourself dying, you ridiculous parasite? What did you say? <laughs> Campbell. Well, I want to head him outside. Oh, they go on patrol, do they? Oh, okay. Well, I can technically leave now. Throw Campbell's body down into the courtyard. Uh. Oh wow, you can see me from there. Oh, I forgot about the rune. I can go get that.
Report to your stations and execute any intruders on sight. Shoot, I forgot the rune. Oh well. Oh, that comes out there, okay. Hmm, I'll do that. I do have to go this way, though. That was close. Ah, can't catch me. <laughs> Those guys don't care. I do have to go that way. No, I'm not. You appeared as if from nowhere. We would both be dead if not for you. We are forever in your debt. I cannot thank you enough. I must get my sister to safety. But first, I may know of a way to thank you. There's a safe in the bunkhouse. The combination is two, zero, three. Take what you want, and good luck. Sweet. Always my strategy is go high. Ooh, don't slide off the... Right, never mind. I'll try that again. And don't sprint into a crouch. It's bad. <laughs> yep.
put you there. Yeah, cool backyard area to kind of finish this off. You get a, sort of the introduction to the, the dogs now. And the dogs are mean. Very mean. But I want to go this way first. Oops. Oh, I forgot about that. Ouch. Yeah, I've never played this on hard. I didn't know they put guards on the roof. On the roofs in the, in this difficulty. It's kind of interesting. I'm surprised you can't see me from there. But that's another hidey place to put the bodies because they don't come up here. I think the dogs have better senses than um, the people do. Oh, right. Oops. Oh my goodness. Uh, this is the first level. Well, not first level, but this is chapter two, I guess. First, like, zone area-ish. Yeah. I am close to the end, though. There's the open window. The 
constrict the wandering eyes that look hither and yonder for some flashing thing that easily catches. Oh wow, I just noticed that we've already hit the two hour mark. I don't oh. feel like two hours. Sometimes with certain games, it really doesn't feel like two hours at all. Hmm. I'll finish this level off and uh, call it a night. Where's that open window? Oh, I'm s oh it's, yeah, it's not open in hard mode. Okay. I want to get the rune. Just over there. I want this bone shot, though. Yeah, the room was... <coughs> I can't remember if it's in a locker or not. I know the room's in there. I'm going to have to smash a window to get inside. Oh, I expected them to hear that. Okay, never mind. Okay. Whatever works. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Quick run away. Go on, you go that way. Oh, did someone walk in there? Or did he just leave the door open? Ah, there it is. have everything and can leave now. There we go. It's 
Samuel. I'm here. From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty bosh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barracks. You ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Okay, let's go. I'm going to get so much flack from uh, that woman who said, please don't kill him. Oh wow, my overall chaos total was low. Oh, I didn't... Wow, I didn't find much. There's a whole load of loot in uh, the levels. If I was playing quicker, I'd... Uh, sorry, if I was playing at, playing at a more slower pace, I would have uh, found a lot of that stuff. But yeah, thanks guides. I'm going to get a whole load of flack now for killing off <laughs> the person I wasn't supposed to. Why do I... Why don't I ask for your guys' opinions? <laughs> She's going to be pissed. What I want to know is how did how does she hear about this? You know, it might you know, not have been me. The word on the streets. Yeah, it might not have been me that did it. Could have been anyone. I'll just avoid talking to you. Yeah, I don't fancy talking to you. If this is going to work, we have to take down the Lord Regent and all its key allies. You know. Yes. Hopefully the High Overseer is the first step along that path. And we must find a girl. Emily. Who knows what her mind is like being there when her mother was killed. Alright. Yeah, you are the outside. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm going to call it there. Um, we will resume this maybe in two weeks. Um, and uh, carry on. I forget what the next mission is, but um, it'll come to me, but uh, not now. Got to get back to doing some work today. Yeah. Also, we posted, there's a schedule at last below. Oh, yeah. um, it has... Um, Mostly just gaming streams for this month. We're going to try to throw in some devs if we can. God, you can see the last time I played this, I've got saves from 2017. Yeah, that was my last playthrough. Um, did I check out the two books? Um, I haven't bought them, but I did do some more research into them. They're on my, they're on my shopping list. Uh, yeah, cool. That was a nice kind of chilled out stream. Next week will be more dev work going through those uh, documents, filling out the showdown encounters and other things. Um, those documents take a long time to fill out because you just have to kind of sit there and think, but uh, we'll get there eventually. I might be on level three by the time the stream comes around next week, but we'll see. Um, what about the update? Do you mean um, Kickstarter update? Do we no, have any news to share? on the 10th. The 10th. Yeah, so we scheduled it for that day for a reason. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we did, didn't we? Because Dusk is being released and we want to support our friends, so there's going to be some stuff in there about it. Yep. Um, be sure to check that out, guys. It's going to be cool. Uh, we're going to be moderating it and some other guys are going to be hosting and playing the game. So it's going to be cool. Um... Right, yes. Uh, thanks, guys, for uh, hanging out tonight. It was a lot of fun. Um, see you in a week. Tomorrow is um, Tom. Tuesday with Tom. Yes. It's Tom That's why I'm going to call it Tuesdays with Tom. <laughs> Tom Tuesdays. Uh, he'll be doing um, artwork, I assume. Um, no, he's actually going to start off with some gaming streams until he's comfortable... Right. Um, streaming because he wants to make sure his stream setup is all good and he's got some cool stuff and once he's comfortable he'll do some art dev stuff cool yeah okay so if you can guys support him make him feel comfortable because if you guys want to see the streams um, that's one way that can really help because you know a lot of us you know we're not that easy in front of a camera I know I wasn't when I started but I'm kind of fine now but you know we do need easy we're not into these things. streamers no no not at all we need easing into these things, so if you guys could maybe come along and be supportive of him, that'd be that'd be perfect. And we thank you in advance if you do. 
But yeah, for now, it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from Carly. Me, bye. Mm -hmm. Quit to Windows. See you guys. Have a great week. Take care of each. Take care of yourselves and each other. And for now, ta-ra.